with a new Ask Video Victor and this is the video where I answer the questions from the viewers. So this is a show that I do, a video that I do every month, in the middle of the month more or less, where I answer the questions that you have to drop in the comments below in, in the previous month. For example, uh, in the month of November I will answer the questions that are in the comments of the month of October. Okay, so. If you like this show and you want to continue, I encourage you to drop some questions below. This time I only have two viewers that have dropped questions, so I will go through them and, and, yeah, and let's go. First, before starting answering questions, the first thing I want to do is a big thank you to all the people that are supporting the channel by viewing, liking, commenting and a special thank you to all my Patreon supporters. So I really appreciate the Patreon support. So if you, yeah, if you just like the content in this channel and you would like to support the channel, I have a Patreon account. If not, just by liking, commenting and watching, I'm more than satisfied. So let's go to the first question. I have it there and say, sorry, I have to plug my laptop. So Warhammer Underworlds, what are six... So I'm here in my yeah, hobby room or where I store my miniatures and the biggest thing I have from Forge World is this Thunderhawk. Okay, this was not bought directly to Forge World, this was bought in second hand, quite cheap and I had to do some repairs. So the last cannons I think are, are just uh, from another miniature and then yeah, you can see that they have even Sisters of Battle um, bolters, the heavy bolters. But yeah, I had to do some repairs, uh, even the, there were some mistakes in the assembly that I tried to correct. But this is one of the, my biggest, well, it's the biggest meal that I have, and it's the Thunderhawk from the Forge Wall. I always wanted to have one. So the next army that where I have some uh, Forge Wall is this um, Renegade Guard. Okay, and here I have this turret. Okay, this, this is a forge wall turret and this is also a forge wall turret. So I did this, um, yeah, when I, I was reading the forge, uh, yeah, it was the Imperial Armor from forge wall. I really got inspired and I love the, the paint, the, the schools and I ordered some. I also have this Psyker from forge wall. Okay, here, so I have here and there some parts on forge wall that will go to the other side of the cabinet. These ones are in bad place, but you can see I have there. Let me move it here. The command group or forge wall. So you have these guys. These are resin. This is the other psyker that was coming in the same kit, and this is the um, officer of Games Workshop. Okay. So here we have and have here the banner. Okay. The so these are really, I really love these ones, okay, and I have to say that the last miniatures from Games Workshop are really in line with these guys, and I need to repair this one because this is moving, okay. And then I have, this is another turret from Forge Wall, okay, it's glued, so it's a banky share, I have it before the kit from Games Workshop had the Bankisher kit. I have there a destroyer, uh, this thing is called Destro Destroyer, and I have a problem because I misaligned when I assembled the two uh, auto cannons. And then we have this one, this is the Tank Hunter from Forge World. I think no, I don't, it's difficult even to find the rules. So this is what I have here from Forge World. Um, uh, yeah, this was when I invested more on Forge Wall. I really like the the Imperial Guard. I was not, I did not have any uh, Imperial Army at the moment. I was doing only Chaos, and I thought it was um, interesting to do uh, a Chaos Guard. Then on the Chaos, I also have some doors from Forge Wall, and uh, on the on this Land Rider. Okay, so we have there the Nargle side doors the front door and there I have the Alpha Legion kit for a Rhino okay nothing super interesting here 
but this is also here and then I also bought a while ago the parts for the uh, war bearers okay, and I think on, on Chaos this is all what I have from the forge wall then on my Imperial Guard I have the last cannons okay uh, the, I bought the kit to be able to make the Vendetta okay these are magnetized so this way you have the rest of the weapons down so I can use the things Vendetta or the Valkyria configuration so I can use both configurations and here we have uh, this Aeronautica Imperialis that they were from the Forge World era. Okay, so I did not invest now in the new Aeronautica Imperialis. I'm playing too many games, but here you have the Aeronautica Imperialis again from Forge World. And the last thing that I want to share, this may be, but this is a present I received from one of the viewers. I really, really, really appreciate this one. Uh, it's a lovely miniature and it's one from um, Necromunda I really enjoy painting them and on top on this one I have a tutorial in the channel and I'm unboxing so this metal have a very nice quality and I really uh, I really enjoy it I think it's a great miniature to enjoy, uh, to paint so this is all I don't have too much on Forge World to be fair I did not uh, uh, I did not invest recently too much on, on Forge World and my last acquisition is this one that on top was a present that uh, yeah, was an awesome present so you have seen I have some miniatures from Forge Wall I have to say that all the ones I bought I bought them before moving to Belgium so they are uh, at least 11 years uh, I bought them at least, at least 11 years ago I think the ones from the Renegade Guard are even 15 years, 16 years ago so they are quite quite old, uh, but yeah, I think I, I uh, they are nice schools and I don't regret having them. Uh, I did not buy it recently because from we have I have so much variety already from Warhammer uh, um, from Games Workshop that uh, yeah I did not I did not have the need to buy any of the Forge World things. I was thinking for a while to paint all the Primarchs. But I think I will wait and I will paint them in directly in Warhammer 40,000 when they uh, appear. Okay, so that's all. That's all what I want to share. And just to finalize this video, I want to show you something I'm working with. So this is a, a Pegasus that I'm trying. To, I'm working. So I hope I can show this soon in the channel. The paint job. I will not do tutorials. I do the miniature that I'm um, I'm doing a little bit selfish, enjoying painting it. Okay, but I think uh, I hope it looks great, and I hope I can hold the Pegasus in this position. So that's all for now. Please like, give me a like if you have liked this video. Uh, leave the com the questions in the comments below if you really like the show and you would like to continue. Leave your questions below, and as usual. Thanks a lot for watching and a special thanks to all the Patreons. See you again later. Bye.